Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and I want to wish you happy holidays. I wish that all your dreams come true in the new year. It has been a very tense, very crazy 2020 and I'm really happy that we're finally out, <laughs> over with and moving into the new future, new adventure. Me and Keen actually have a gift for you just to finish off this year and it's a very exciting opportunity guys. Um, I've already worked with Keen last year so for those who don't know, Keen is the one of the largest platforms for psychics, astrologers, tarot readers, any kind of metaphysical experts that you can imagine. Keen offers many different ways on how to connect with the expert, uh, whether it's an online chat or a phone call. They have somebody online there pretty much any time. So even if you go on there in the middle of the night, there is a very high chance that there will be many, many experts online that you can choose from. And of course, they do offer reviews that you can read before you contact an expert. Now, I just wanna share my experience from last year because I really, you know, I didn't just work with Keen. They gave me an opportunity to play around on the website, to contact different readers, to get readings done, you know, phone calls and chats and so on. So I did choose a few readers and I did have uh, quite a few readings from them. I did read reviews. I went by reviews, you know, even though I work in a similar industry, I'm actually pretty skeptical, believe it or not. So I went ahead and I talked to a few experts and now a year later it is pretty spooky because especially one of them was very spot on she predicted my pregnancy in 2020 she described my partner in full detail she was describing many different events that i couldn't even think of back then and now a year later i realized how spot on she was with all these little details then i contacted the other lady and it was a phone call and i gave her a couple of projects that i wanted to do and right off the bat she told me this one is going to work this one is not going to work and she was spot on as well the project that she told me wasn't gonna work did not work out the other one actually did and then i did run into someone that wasn't quite spot on maybe i just didn't connect with her energy and she didn't connect with mine but what i'm trying to say guys that if you read reviews if you feel the connection with the reader if you feel like this is someone that you resonate with uh try it out see for yourself like i said a year later i can definitely give better feedback, and yes, things that they have predicted have resonated with me. They have happened. So the gift that me and Keen are offering you is for new customers only, $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. You can use these 10 minutes to either start a chat with an expert, a phone call, whatever you prefer. And of course, I always recommend to read reviews before you start a chat or a phone call. That way you know what to expect or that way you can see what other people have experienced with this particular expert. And of course, Keen offered me a link, my personal link that you can use to sign up for this deal for $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. It is trykeen.com111. You can use that link as a new customer. Sign up, the sign up process is very easy. This website is very addicting, but at the same time, very fun. And um, I think a lot of people, especially right now, wanna know what 2021 can bring, especially after such a tough year. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity to share with you guys. And yes, of course, I am an affiliate. Just wanna, just wanna let you know that, okay? <laughs> However, this is a really great deal, really great discount. And of course, I'm really happy to share it with you. Now on to the yearly readings. Hi Cancer, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your 2021 tarot reading. And oh my God, finally, we are done with 2020. What a crazy year. Um, I'm really excited for 2021. It should be much lighter in energy. Uh, there will be four eclipses instead of six. And overall, it's just a more beneficial year to start new beginnings, um, to just move forward, okay? Now, if you guys wanna see if my 2020 resonated with you before you even bother, check out the video i have it on my channel and then see if this suits you as well and let's start with your tarot reading let's see what you can expect in the beginning of 2021 middle of 2021 and um last few months of 2021 so cancer what can cancer expect to happen in 2021 
Um, I would say a really good financial year for you guys. It could be pretty prosperous. We also have um, the sun card at the bottom, you know, and when that signifies your year, I'm sorry, but I think you are <laughs> very lucky here. The sun card does talk about um, optimism. It talks about recognition as well. It talks about ego. Now, a lot of times it, it is healthy ego. A lot of times it's not. So it just depends. Okay. Um, some of you may potentially be starting your own business, being self-employed in uh, 2021. Others maybe will improve their career strategies, right? Maybe um, you will be choosing new career. Maybe you will be advancing in your career. There is something financial here that's coming up that is pretty good good you know however on the other hand it will require your effort it's not just going to manifest like that so we do have four of pentacles in the beginning of the year four of pentacles does indicate um holding on to what what you do not what you deserve what you own holding on to it okay not necessarily letting it go not sharing it with anybody and so on so i would say that for those that are let's say are interested more in love well first of all the sun does talk about optimism sorry the sun does talk about optimism in love right and some positive experiences but also with four of pentacles it could be that in the beginning of the year you may act more reserved you may not necessarily be very trusting. You may not want to, you know, somebody to break your heart. You may be very careful with the people that come around, which is, you know, can blame you. But also, if it's in business, if it's in finances, uh, Four of Pentacles does usually promise a pretty good financial flow because you're able to save it. You are either you have a goal that you're saving up for or maybe you have some other ideas you know but this is what's yours will be yours and it won't be taken away from you this is the whole i want to say purpose of this card so why is four of pentacles here even though yeah some kind of successful ventures here with three of cups with seven of cups and with eight of pentacles there will be first of all a lot of different ideas and thoughts that may be coming through your head um also emotional experiences as well in regards to um what to choose to put your focus into you know what is this most important thing that you're going to be focused on maybe for the beginning of the year maybe all the way you know first six months of the year um it will however be a reason to celebrate three of cups this year on the other hand, it could also be that maybe in 2021, you have to step out of your comfort zone and start interacting with others, start networking with others, start collaborating with others and simply just allowing other people into your life in a way where you both can be beneficial to each other networking, right? Um, it kind of could be something like that. On the other hand, if it's romantic experiences, here you are again, you are reserved in the beginning of the year, but there are options in, in front of you. Uh, some seem too good to be true, you know, others seem to be relatively normal. And you are choosing where exactly you're going to put all that energy into, right? Uh, which relationship, which person maybe, um, what is worth in, uh, investing your time and energy into? These are going to be kind of the themes of um, the beginning of 2021, but I can assure you guys, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups here, not only that you will be overall collaborating, networking, interacting with people, you won't be isolated, right? But you will also be working on something diligently, which I think is a good financial year for you guys because you have Queen of Pentacles right after middle of the year. So something that you launch um, here in the beginning of 2020 can echo <laughs> in the middle of the year in a very positive, prosperous way. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is usually um, just overall indicating your financial status, your financial situation. It's incredibly positive. It is something very collected, something that is very secure, something that you know for a fact will stay with you long term. 
So it could be a year where maybe you are signing up for all these new projects and maybe you connect other people to it, right? To them. But on the other hand, you are building some sort of a ladder, right? Uh, financial, possibly professional. Queen of Pentacles a lot of times can indicate um, a person in your life, of course, but it's usually either someone that's connected to you through work, like you could, for example, find a really interesting <laughs> colleague or a friend that could help you, assist you in some way, give you advice, give you professional advice as well. An investor, sponsor, right? Queen of Pentacles can also just simply be someone that um, is like your business partner, you know, or boss or manager, someone that will be playing a big role here. For romantic, uh, even though it's truthfully not looking romantic, I mean, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be dating or anything like that. It's just that I feel like 2021 wants you to focus more on your stability rather than on the dating world. But it seems like with Queen of Pentacles, if there is some, maybe earth sign, maybe someone you're connected to through work, uh, you know, it could be that they will be still present in your life. And let's see what's going on. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? And if you don't know them yet, it does seem like you are going to get to know them. Uh, it's not, however, going to be a short-lived, guys. I mean, did I... It's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be short-lived. That's kind of what uh, the energies are uh, showing here. We do have Knight of Swords and Karma, which is Judgment in the traditional deck. Uh, there might be something, unfortunately, that you may expect from a person in your life that can be shocking, okay? That can be something that happens out of the blue, and this will be a final straw, final decision, uh, closure of some kind between you and somebody else. This can signify, by the way, your job. The job that you have at the moment uh, may be something that you want to quit, something that you want to change, you want to make progress. Here you are, Queen of Pentacles a lot of times does not manifest as an actual person. It manifests as, like I said, security, work, you know, finances, something where you used to or still are finding security. And you are experiencing changes in this department. Something here you're letting go of, something first of all surprises you here to where you decide to take a different direction. Um, if you have a queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, I don't know, but somebody earthy in your life, right? Earthy, it doesn't have to be by the horoscope, but can be by their profession, let's say, you know, their personality. If you have someone like that, maybe, maybe something could trigger a, a certain behavior from them in uh, 2021 that may leave you wa want to cancel this whole thing, thing, this whole situation and let go of it. But in order to do that, you have to get surprised by them, if that makes sense. Something may happen where they really shock you or they do something unpredictable, they do something that you never expected. Um, I don't think it's a love situation because love cards really aren't coming up, truthfully. I think it could be something regarding your career that is a shift, uh, but in order to, of course, enter something new, you have to complete something that you're already dealing with. We all know that, how you know, things work, <laughs> you know, but um, you're achieving peace, though. You're achieving peace, you're achieving balance. You are achieving some sort of a peace calm after a storm here. It has to rain on you first though. On the other hand, you know, when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well, you know, okay, so maybe um, this could be a person showing up out of the blue. 
and them kind of changing your path. It could play out as that as well, where a person is showing up out of nowhere and they change your life and they bring balance into your life. But on the other hand, truthfully, temperance sometimes can talk about reconciliation, even though the more I study cards, the more I do readings and I see how this card plays out in people's lives, it's not always reconciliation. But let's hypothetically say that, yes, it could bring you peace between you and somebody else. It could bring harmony between you and somebody else. This is the person that you have already had problems with. Um, and it could be that maybe things have ended in 2020, or maybe they are going to be very shaky throughout the beginning of 2021. Well, here is Ten of Swords followed by Temperance, right? So it could be that maybe there will be a shift. Um, there will be a shift in a direction where, you know, something will crack, uh, something will change. Um, you have to bring this relationship all the way to the bottom in order for it to work, in order for it to thrive. Um, so that could also be the case, okay? We are all different. There is Cancer Moon, Cancer Sun, Cancer Rising. Um, you know, I don't know who exactly is watching. Um, especially for Cancer Sun, it could play out in very different ways, uh, this particular situation with this Queen of Pentacles. But I would say overall, it's bringing you peace and balance. So what else would you want from the situation, right? That's what you want. You don't want it to bring you chaos that's going to linger throughout the whole year. You want it to bring you peace. And that's what it seems to be doing. And finally, peace, let's say you're starting your own business. That's peace because here you are. You're your own uh, boss now, let's say, right? Or you get a job at a new company, but you had to go through hell with the old company, right? But again, you feel like, okay, perfect, you know, this is a new path. This is my calling. This is something that I wanted to do. And here you go. Now, towards the end of the year, we have nine of wands. Nine of wands can represent sometimes... Um, the energy of effort, the energy of not giving up, persevering, you know, and um, cancer isn't necessarily the most stubborn sign, but if they want to hold on to something, they usually tend to really cling to it. So nine of ones here could talk about your effort, your perseverance in terms of career, in terms of love life, in terms of maybe friendships. But let's see, why is nine of ones here? Something here that was on hold. Whew, something here that was on hold with a, another person. Again, there is a king of pentacles. There is a different earthy individual here. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand what is going on. And again, when I say earthy, I don't really mean horoscopes. You know, I don't mean zodiac signs. I mean uh, earthy, like a person that's stable, reliable, trustworthy, a person that maybe you're connected to through work, someone you know that's very down to earth and simple, kind of, that's that's earthy, <laughs> you know? And the hanged man here, so you may persevere uh, regarding a certain person in your life. You may try and really work on things with them. Uh, because we do have Six of Cups, we do have the Chariot, and we do have Queen of Cups. You are in your own element, first of all, leaving 2021, which is very important. Not only that Temperance is bringing you some sort of a peace, right? Peace and balance at first. But it's also simply bringing you um, some sort of um, victory between you and somebody else. So while, guys, I was talking about the whole year being financial mostly, uh, I'm not going to say that, you know, oh yeah, towards the end of the year, it is going to pick up for you in love finally. That's not what I mean, but I what I do mean is that love is emphasized strongly towards the end of the year rather than any other time. 
It could be that you first prioritize work and then maybe you will prioritize love. And uh, we do have a very reliable person here next to you. You yourself are in your own element. And something that put you to in stagnation in the past will finally shift with the chariot. And you will be able to move forward and kind of persevere and work on this. And it's only happening because you did not give up or you're not going to give up throughout 901s. It can also mean that the person will wait for you and they're not gonna give up. And I have the Hierophant at the bottom. So first of all, and this is dedication and status. So it could be that let's say if this King of Pentacles or whoever, if they are not your romantic partner, if this is against signifying career, against signifying stability, security, finances for you, then it could be that again, you will become either dedicated to something, to a certain project, to a certain career path. You may become your own boss, the Hierophant. You may become some sort of an authority. You may go up the ladder. You may start some new projects. You may finally uh, be able to launch something off the ground that you couldn't before uh, because the hanged man that stagnation and this stagnation who knows how long it lasted it could last through you know the first couple months of 2020 one <laughs> throughout the whole year of 2020 who knows you know i don't know but whatever this is here it is paying off and i think in honestly both love and ro um, romance and uh, uh, career but if you've been waiting for financial improvement, if you've been waiting for maybe more respect at your career, um, some kind of uh, new paths, new ways, how to expand and grow, um, it's looking good in 2021, okay guys? Now, I am currently, I forgot to mention in the last readings, but I am offering a $50 30-minute yearly reading until about January 15th. Okay, I am gonna be going on the maternity leave uh, shortly after that, so I'm not gonna be booking anymore, you know? So um, if you want a yearly reading that's 30 minutes long, I will have the link down below in the description box. Uh, and these yearly readings are on YouTube only, they're not on Patreon, just in case, okay? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year, happy holidays, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.